the battle for control of Congress is coming down to the wire with key races tightening as more votes are counted. Republicans are just seven wins away from that magic number of 218 seats to flip control of the House, while the Senate will come down to a few key races. Ranked choice voting will now decide Alaska's race, which will almost certainly go to Republicans. Georgia's Senate race is headed to a December 6th runoff when neither candidate Senator Raphael Warnock nor his Republican competitor Herschel Walker received more than 50 percent of the vote there. In Nevada, Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Mastro is closing the gap on Republican Adam Laxalt. Only about 9,000 votes separate those two right now. And in Dem Arizona, Democratic Senator Mark Kelly has a six-point lead over Republican Blake Masters. Senior National Correspondent Terry Moran joins me live now from Phoenix with more. Terry, ballots are still being counted there, but is there a sense of which candidate those remaining ballots could favor? There is, Diane, in, in that Senate race, uh, Senator Mark Kelly, the incumbent Democratic senator, is really in a good position, as you just pointed out. Overnight, 78,000 uh, votes were reported and counted, uh, and those really did boost Kelly's chances. Uh, for Republican Blake Masters to catch up, he'd have to win an overwhelming number of the outstanding vote, uh, which is a lot from here in Maricopa County, a heavily uh, advantage Democrat in this county, as well as Pima County down south around Tucson. Those are good counties for Democrats generally. And so Mark Kelly in a very good position right now. They still have several hundred thousand votes to count, though. Now, the governor's race is also coming down to the wire. So what's the latest there? That's a lot closer, Diane, no question about it. Uh, and as you can see, uh, Katie Hobbs, the Democrat, she also got a boost from that batch of 78,000 votes that dropped last night. But this race really is still uh, anyone's. Uh, Hobbs may be with an advantage, but Carrie Lake still has a very real path to victory. She certainly thinks so, and she thinks that the count here is really uh, going on. She calls it slow rolling. She's kind of hinting at vague conspiracies without offering much evidence. Uh, she really thinks she's won, but they have to count the votes. Now, when do you think we'll see a result there, Terry? And is this what's to be expected for elections going forward now? You know, that's really important, Diane. Officials here tell us that despite what you might read on Twitter or Facebook, this is normal for Arizona because 90 percent of Arizonans vote by mail. Uh, and every one of those ballots has got to be scanned and signature checked and verified by a bipartisan adjudication board. None of that can start until Election Day, and all of that is by law. So they're used to these long counts. Uh, and what they say is that they will work right through the weekend. They expect final results. The race will clear up uh, by sometime next week, maybe, maybe the end of next week. Diane? All right, Terry Moran for us in Phoenix. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.